Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to be doing some development work for a mini like sort of like prequel series I'm trying to work on to get out in time for London Comic Con which is called Plant Witch The Beginnings and I thought I'd use this time to not only talk about like the story that I'll be showing in that series but I'd also talk about why Plant Witch has taken me such a long time to do. So I have a lot of people asking when's the plant witch comic coming out when is the plant witch series coming out why is there not much more information about it and it simply is because it's taking me time to do it um as the story and the characters develop and as the work develops i'm kind of um well it's not my full-time job so it's, it's a lot harder for me to work on a series and give dedicate all my time to it in the middle of doing videos and while I'm at work and other projects as well that need to be done so it's it's taking its time because there's a lot of work that needs to be, to be done for it as well as the um, Plant Witch series it's all been done traditionally so it's taking me longer if I make mistakes uh, for me to replace them, to me to fix them. There's just like, there's a lot of factors in place and difficulties that come in place when making a series. So it is something that's a long term project. Um, it's not something that I'm going to be able to put up and put out straight away because I don't have all my time to be able to dedicate to the comic to be able to get it done in time. Uh, as for this mini thing that I'm doing, I just kind of wanted to introduce a story and introduce the setting um, before we actually go into the comic and the whole idea came about of doing like a mini children's storybook called Plant Witch The Beginnings which um, showcases Marie as a child growing up, going to school and then before she ends up in the city of Arkendale because the way I would like the um like this mini series to end and the, the comics begin is I wanted to end with her going to Arkendale and with uh the comics started in Arkendale just so then we've got like a basis of everything that's going on so a lot of the work that I'm doing at the moment is development work as for the series of sketches uh, slash drawings this is just development work for a sequence that I would like to include within the um mini book that I'm doing as well. I'm trying to get as much done as I physically can, it's just it is very hard when you're not only the person that's writing and drawing but trying to find the time to dedicate in between everything else um, to be able to do it and I want to do the project properly. Um, so this isn't really me complaining, it's just more giving a bit of an explanation to you guys as to why it is taking so long because it is, it takes time. Stories take time to develop, ideas change, ideas develop and change as you develop and change and the Plant Witch series has changed and has developed and um, in the sketchbook that I showed you at the beginning that has all my notes of the universe and everything around it as well as a story base so that we know exactly what we're working from when um, I'm building up the comic series. So this little series of illustrations I'm doing here is known as a sequence illustration um, where it's kind of you are showing like a clips and moving in time. Um, it's also very good for animatic stuff this kind of thing as well. Um, this is uh, a scene in the children's book where Marie really wants to grow this plant to make her mum feel better because her mum's poorly and she's really sad because she can't get the plant to grow and um, the way Marie's magic works is she works through like speaking to the plant and whispering to the plant and it causes the plant to grow and it's almost like magic words that she whispers but she doesn't realize that she's doing it um she doesn't seem to understand why the plant won't grow and this is why she cries and it grows and listens to her call and that was marie's first ever magic that she used um this to be honest the I do like parts of this piece but I know stuff that can be improved here because I'm doing everything traditionally it's trying to work out how stuff would be traditionally applied to the pieces and since I'm still trying to work out like the style that I'm going for with this little mini children's book um, it's something that I really want to try out. I'm using Winsor & Newton slash uh, Letcher Set Pro Markers, the Letcher Set of the old range, Winsor & Newton is the new range. I'm using some WH Smith pencils to get some textures up on there and I'm also using a Zig Manga Car Flexible um, and my white gel pen. I try to build up layers as much as I can and I think I used a little bit of watercolour in there to get a bit more texture 
I think I have the feel down for the children's book that I really want to go for um, and I think I definitely will use probably two of these illustrations I think um, the, especially the third illustration that does need to be redrawn the paper I'm using I actually ended up using watercolor paper for this because I wasn't sure at the time whether or not I wanted to use watercolor and um, ended up using markers instead so yeah this is why it's on watercolor paper I don't actually recommend using watercolor paper for markers um, just because it can soak up the ink quite quickly and unfortunately cause your markers to dry out much quicker I'm really enjoying developing the Plant Witch series and developing the universe. Um, I haven't quite come up with a name for that, the world yet. All I know is I have a map down and I have like rough ideas down and it's just still in development, it's still in the works because you know this stuff takes time. You're building a universe and it's not exactly easy to do it in the sense of a few months or a few yeah well it's been a year now developing the plant witch universe and i think i have like six complete comic pages done um out of everything that i wanted to do just because it takes time for me to get through them and sometimes i don't always have the time i would like to work on projects um it's definitely one of the sad factors of being able to, able to draw part time is that you can't put all the time into the work that you would like to do um but yeah, it's definitely something I'm developing. I really want to get this done for London Comic Con because I'm going to be at London Comic Con this year. Um, I'm not entirely sure what table I'm at yet, but uh, for more information on that will be available on the social medias when I actually have my table. Um, I've definitely got my table confirmed, but I don't have my table number yet. <laughs> With the um, mini like children's book I want to do, I just really want to set the story for plant witch and i just want to show the development of the character with me i always like to think that marie grew up in a very happy a very loving home and that affects her magic and her goals in life and um lavender drew, grew up in a very strict environment which is one thing i really want to do in this like little mini um children's book i just really want to show that relationship how it starts and how they grow to be um be rivals because I think it's important to show that development rather than just drop in in the middle of the story it's much harder I do I will say to tell a story without using words especially um, with the comic series it, it, it was it's proving a struggle definitely but it's something I want to do because I do want the comics to be all inclusive and I felt that a children's storybook routine with this would be much quicker for me to be able to produce uh, with Plant Witch the Beginnings rather than the actual comic books, which is why I've decided to go for that route instead. Um, I just think it would be nicer to show development. And especially with the sequence, I had like the idea, it was like, but the plant did not hear, uh, the plant did not hear her calls. And as she cried deep at wishing the plant to grow, the plant grew before her very eyes as if to answer her cries. I just, I don't know, it's just, I'm, I really do love Plant Witch, I really love Marie, and this is, this is before Marie had Prickles, so it's having the story of uh, all that and how she develops, and I think that's really important to tell, and I really hope you guys like it, I, I do want to show more development work as the series goes on, so I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing all this, and thank you for listening to me throughout this video and if you guys ever create your own plant witch character for this plant witch universe like you know or a witch character in any, a wizard in any way shape or form you know please feel free to tag me on instagram and or twitter like i get so excited to see what you create and what worlds you do i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe but as always folks stay creative